There is a truth that everyone will face at some point in their life. Not everyone likes you. There does not need to be an apparent reason for some people to hate or feel jealousy towards you. Some even hate you before they see you. When this happens, it is imperative that you deal with it because such occurrences don't just go away. You have to face and deal with them. There are many ways to deal with this. Dealing with jealousy and hatred from others is a skill you need to learn for growth and success in your career and life in general, as you will always come across people who do not like you. The reasons they hate you might be known and fixable, or it might be vague or non-existent. Still, you need to deal with this potentially dangerous situation. The question is, how do you deal with jealousy and hatred from others? How do you work with them and still achieve results? How do you deal with them and not lose your mind? How do you deal with them and not hate them in return? And if possible, how do you turn them into friends? These questions require answers, so the following is a list of nine ways to deal with jealousy and hatred from others. 1. Don't play the victim. At the realization that someone hates you and is out to frustrate you, there might be a temptation to go the extreme and feel self-pity. Resist that temptation. Don't start thinking the whole world is against you and thinking about how unfair the world is. Aside from this feeling of being pitiful and weak, you will only be feeding whatever is birthing the hatred. You have to get brave and do what you have to do. Sit up and face the situation squarely. As said earlier, it won't go away, and the sooner you stop crying and prepare a plan of action, the better for you. Self-pity promotes the loss of respect from self and others, so it is dangerous to engage it when you already have people who hate you. Sit up and deal with this. Don't play the victim. 2. Don't retaliate. The other possible extreme at the knowledge of the negative feelings towards you is to draw the battle line and give back what you get. That would be counterproductive. While it may seem like an easy way out, you would only be emulating them and that makes you a copy. Aside from being a copy, it also shows that others can control you by how they treat you. If you would not naturally dish out hatred and jealousy, people should not goad you to do it. The fact that you got negative vibes from people gives you no reason to give out negative vibes to the universe. Spread positivity no matter what and find other ways to handle the situation. Being and acting like them might give them a taste of their medicine, but it reduces their respect for you because you have gone down to their level by doing as they do. Don't retaliate. 3. Turn a deaf ear. Ignoring harsh, painful comments people make about you has to be one of the hardest things to do in life, but it is required. If you allow yourself to listen to and take in everything they say about you, you might start to believe them, and soon you'll be just as angry and jealous and wrong as they are. However, ensure they are not telling the ugly truth about you. If they are, Take it as constructive criticism and work on yourself. If they are not true, turn a deaf ear. If there are people who bring these words to your attention, ask them to desist from sharing them with you. If there is a pattern which leads to you reading or hearing these hurtful words, break the habit and keep your mind clean and your sanity intact. It doesn't take the problem away, but it protects you from taking in all that negativity turn a deaf ear. 4. Confront and address. There are times you face problems head on, and if you deal with jealousy and hatred, you have to be ready for some uncomfortable but necessary confrontations. Many people, while making them face their actions and bringing it out in the open, realize their mistake and lose the power to stay on the wrong. Confronting and addressing jealousy and hatred might be more necessary if you work together. There is a tendency of you losing your job or having too many enemies at the workplace if the issues don't get addressed. If necessary, have a meeting with the boss and the hater and let the problem be addressed. This confrontation must be done with the right motive of solving the problem 
and not as a way of payback or retaliation. That will only compound issues and you might have a worse situation than you had before. When you need to, confront and address. 5. Take away the power Many times, the more we come in contact with something or a situation, the more we internalize their essence and slowly we begin to lose and break down our entrance barrier. When this happens, we become powerless and we believe and accept whatever we get served because we are now familiar with the situation. Avoid getting familiar with those who are jealous of you and hate you. Reduce your contact with them, find alternatives for meeting them and change what needs to be changed so you don't have to communicate with them regularly. Do not run away from them but do not embrace them either or you will begin to see that negative cycle as usual and soon will be powerless to create a barrier to keep out all the negativity. Get out of the toxic situation by reducing contact with the source of the toxicity. Take away the power. 6. Kill them with kindness At every opportunity that presents itself, show the haters some kindness. Let them see the difference between you both and learn. Buy them coffee. Hold the door open for them. Give them valuable information. Do what you would do for others. These actions would show them that you are not going to join the league of haters and play with them, but instead would stay kind and show love. This move might be hard for you, but it will frustrate them and show observers that you are innocent. Kill them with kindness. 7. Help them improve Most times, jealousy and hatred come from a place of inferiority and inability. If an opportunity presents itself, help the haters improve. Teach them something, show them a better way and give them tips which would boost their self-esteem and make them have a sense of worth. By helping them improve, you are sowing seeds of kindness and showing them that you are not their competition but instead they are their competition. As they grow, they will get better insight and mindset and the need for hatred and jealousy could become eliminated. Help your haters improve. 8. Don't share It's one of the most natural things to complain about the hatred you are served to anyone who would hear. Don't do this. If people find out about the hate you get, let it not be from you. Deal with the problem as quietly as you can and with as few spectators as possible. Sharing the situation might mean giving the hater a platform to be more vocal and visible about their hatred and jealousy and it makes it harder for you to ignore. In this age of social media, it is tempting to share what is going on in your life, including the unwarranted hatred you get. Try not to share so much about your life and keep many things private. Do not share. 9 understand. The truth is that hurt people hurt people. Many people who set out to hurt people do so because they are damaged and destroyed. Sometimes it is a distinguished cry for help and they need someone to understand and help them. If you realize this, you might be more compassionate when you see that what they do says more about them than it does about you. There are so many people hurting in the world because of hatred and jealousy and different carriers take it to different places. It is your place to stop the cycle and it starts when you choose to understand. Having excellent interpersonal relations is vital for every would-be great person. There will always be people who feel inferior or slighted by your growth. They may feel intimidated by your success and feel uncomfortable about your progress. These nine points will help you deal with people who may not agree with you but who you have to work and maybe live with. Learning how to deal with such people may be the difference between success and extraordinary success.